right, so I've got the, the model behind me and we're gonna move from direct flash to thinking in terms of fill flash. So the big difference here is I'm looking at two exposures. I'm looking at the flash exposure on the subject and I'm looking at the, the background. And here's a really common fill flash scenario and that is the backlit situation. So behind our subject there's some bright stuff and the angle I'm gonna pick in just a moment is gonna have some, some bright light. So I'm gonna make sure my background is exposed well for that. But if I do that, normally without flash, I'd have a backlit subject as you can probably see right now. So this is kind of how it works. First, the camera's gonna be on the sync speed, which happens to be one, one 25th of a second. I need to make sure I know my ISO. So I double check that. My ISO in this case is ISO 100. I set the, the dial here for ISO 100, and that gives me a starting point. I'm gonna go to full power. Here is the auto thrister, the very power. I'm gonna put it on full power for right now. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meter the background and I'm just gonna see what that sunny background is like. So I'll take a moment here and I'll check my aperture to it. Aperture to it. So my, in the sunny part, my, my aperture is f8. So I need to make sure that my, my flash is balancing to that. So I look at my subject. My subject's gonna be about, we'll say five feet, five to six feet when I actually shoot. So I need to make sure that f8 hits about five to six feet. I have full power, that's too much power coming out of the flash. So I'm gonna kind of rotate this down until I can get f8 to line up pretty much right there on the five. So, um, Looks like probably about seven feet away is what I'll try to do. At seven feet away, I can line up F8 really well. And that's at a fourth power on the power settings. So I go back to the auto thrister, the very power. I'm set that up to a fourth power. So it's gonna limit the power coming in. And now I can take the picture. So I'm gonna expose and I'll probably move over here to the side. As far as my flash, if I'm over here, it's probably good for me to tilt so my flash is coming in at that angle. If I was over here, I'd probably have my flash coming in like so. But I'll be like this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I get the person in the sun and shoot the picture. If it's maybe a tiny bit close, so I'll go back one foot. Wait for the, the green light to show me that the power is ready again. And I got a pretty good overall balance between ambient light uh, and the flash exposure. So. We can kind of see exposure. So we can kind of see here that behind the subject we've got the, the nice details and the highlights, but we have the flash power on the subject. So we have a good combination between the two shots.